we're not quite done yet because we got one more game that uh, we have yet to play. And this one, uh, much like Not Only Nine, I'm going into this one completely blind. Um, all I know about this game is that I didn't make it to PAX East this year because of work related shit, but my friends who went to PAX said that this was the game that really surprised the hell out of them. Um, it is a horror novel, horror visual novel. Um, and I'm very excited to play this. And Christy, I believe, I believe you've been following the creator of this game for some time. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but let's get the sound for that captured and, uh, Audio should be in. Um, so uh, for people who are going to be sticking in, because it's basically going to be the, the the rest of the game, uh, the rest of the stream rather. Um, just in case the screen gets lost, I'm going to go ahead and type the uh, website here because basically I'm going to read what it says because this is, this is a bit of an important message. Um, content warning: This is a horror game, and it is not intended for all audiences. Please visit our website, blacktabbygames.com, if you need a full list of content warnings. Slay the Princess contains flickering image effects. If this poses a health risk to you, you can turn off animations in the preferences. I'm going to go ahead and put the link there just in case it screen loses while I'm trying to capture it. Um, because content warnings are important and they're probably the best way to... Uh, uh, okay, I may have to... Game capture, full screen. Shut that one off. We're gonna turn this one on. Okay, there we go. Captured, audio should be coming through. Hey, there we go. Uh, so like I said, I'm going into this one basically completely blind. So if anyone knows anything, um, you know, uh, nothing, nothing spoilery, nothing spoilery, no. Uh, but let's let's hop into it. Uh, this is probably gonna end up taking the rest of the stream as well, cause I believe this one's a little, little on longer. A path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't. It will be the end of the world. Uh, I may have to move my camera. Oh, so first off, if I move the cursor around, we get this nice effect here. Uh, hold on one second, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and move my camera here. It should be going to put me at the bottom here for now. Uh, just because I realized that it was, in fact, cutting off some of the text. So uh, we get a bunch of options here. The end of the world. What are you? Well, it's just us talking with the narrator. OK. Uh, yeah. So, Christy, I believe you mentioned that you have been following um, Abby, the, the creator of this game, for some time now. Uh, in chat, feel free to, to, to you know talk about that. Talk it up. Um, and the world, what are you talking about? Have you ever considered that the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Killing the princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Can't someone else do this? Forget it. I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet. I've always wanted to <laughs> off a monarch. Viva la revolution. Uh, silently continue to the cabin or turn around and leave. That's the spirit. Viva la revolution. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. I've already had a night having to deal with betrayal of multiple people I put my trust into. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Well, it depends on what kind of hero we are. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> also sounds like, he also sounds a lot like me. All right. 
I'm I'm loving this this uh, parallax scrolling effect right here. All right, into the cabin. This is a good idea. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. All right, let's take that blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Okay. Uh, oh, I like that the cursor has now changed. I now have the dagger in my hand. So notice that in the, the first the screen, it was kind of a uh, monster a hand. Staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. Also, if you need me to up the volume for the game at all, let me know. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Because I, there already got a great voice actor. I'm not gonna reread text. Um, her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Hello! <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna do the first run of this kind of silly. Don't be a shy. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. So sorry, just quickly checking on messages. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? <laughs> what? No way. Why would you even think that? Okay, yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay it. No, no, uh. I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna go with I haven't decided yet. Drop the knife, and the two of us just talk. Look how reasonable she's being. We should just drop the blade and talk things out. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster, but killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. I'm probably gonna regret this. Out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. I love the fact that the narrator immediately is done with us. The blade tumbles out of your stupid. Like you might as well at that point just say. The stupid blade tumbles out of your stupid, stupid, stupid hands and bangs on the floor with the uh, unceremonious clang before you get eaten. Thank you. Oh yeah, I, I don't have, I no longer have the the blade in my thing, but I do have a little like monster finger on, on the cursor. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Uh, here, I'm actually going to turn the game audio up just a little bit for this one, uh, just because it's a little more important than... Uh... Yeah, it's pretty awkward. A relationship? Are you coming on to me? 
I'm here because you're gonna end the world. There are people here who think you're a threat to the world. What do you say about that? You know why I'm here to kill you. Do you? So you're not going to share? How pointless. If you want to talk, I'll talk. But this isn't talking. She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness. Or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. Ambient music is great, by the way. Too long. Again, she offers no specifics. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. You can't. Don't bother. Not with that attitude. I'm guessing you don't have the key, then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting, right? She is. I'm sure of it. Oh, she's going full saw. Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're doing all the different ways of of taking this one on. Let's lay him. Doubt, unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. Oh, uh, our arm does not look good. A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. We might be a monster. It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. Holy shit, that hurt! Though she's unarmed, the shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. Your blade slashes through the air again and again, and her fists connect with your body as many times or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone-crushing hit. We can still turn this around. You and the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath, equally exhausted. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure that she won't make it out of here. Excuse me? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. The two of you clash for the final time. You feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push through the pain falling forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess's heart. Oh. The two of you fall to the floor. This was fun. The princess gasps, her voice an unhealthy rasp as her lungs start to fill with blood. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. But I have to wonder, do you really think this is the end? There it is again, that razor-sharp look in her eyes and the terrifying conviction in her words. But you don't have the time to worry over such things. Everything goes black, and you die. Uh, so I, it didn't capture, but I just got an achievement in the upper right corner with the uh, Dark Souls You Died logo saying the real Slay the Princess starts here. Chapter 2. Uh-oh. You're on a path in the woods, 
and at the end of that path is a cat. You're here to slay her. I can assure you that you're not dead. And to answer your second question, you're here to slay the princess. I literally told you that a second ago. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. But you know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. That's fine. It doesn't matter if he can hear us. The only thing that matters oh. is marching up to that cabin and winning. That's the spirit. There's no point in squabbling when the real threat is just up that hill. Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. We did our best with the information we were given, and we did kill her. And yet you still died, didn't you? So congratulations, you've been given another chance to actually do this right. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? <laughs> if you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We killed the princess, the princess killed us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself? Or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Had you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? Ugh. Oh, we are talking. going into different timelines. We're going into... Nothing else matters. I couldn't agree more. The cabin and your destined confrontation with the princess awaits. Just be quick about it. She is just a princess. Whatever you think happened to you last time, just get it out of your head before you get to the cabin and you'll be fine. People locked her in that basement and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. Oh, this is maddening. Why do you keep asking questions? Yeah, even the There's hero. nothing wrong with getting the full picture of what's going on here. Wait, the voices are separate and the voices of the hero are two sure different people? It's wasting time and energy that would be better spent fighting. How many different of us are in here? Look, I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps, but it's just the way things are. Oh, I didn't know we were special. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail would just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your- What else would we even need to know? We've got all the reason we need for a rematch. Exactly. The less you know about her, the better. Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her, just go in, do your job, and save the world. Wonder if she remembers Great. anything. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting. A warning. She will lie, she will cheat. Lying and cheating doesn't sound like her at all. Not that it matters. It's not like she can lie or cheat in the middle. Are you sure about that? The point of my warning wasn't to start an argument over what circumstances the princess is capable of lying in. The princess will do and say whatever she thinks it will take to get a crystal. Let's just get on with it already. The cabin is tighter than its exterior oh, it would suggest. Changed. Its cold stone walls press in on you as if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. The only furniture- See? Even the cabin has the right up. The blade is your implement. Very different. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. 
I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by them. So focus up. Alright, so we know he's lying. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's the altar, the blade sitting on the altar. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. You already wasted so much time in the woods. Who even cares if there's a mirror? As do I. I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do? Let you waste time. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. This really isn't funny. You reach for it and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But it was there a second ago. Now it's gone, so all of us can stop arguing about it and get to fighting. You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world. I knew our arm, our arm was too fucked up. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a rough stone staircase, its walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive, with an her fierce voice carries up the stairs. Is that another challenger? Finally! It's been ages since I've had a good fight. This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. She's trying to egg on the voice of good. the Sovereign. Sounds like my kind of princess. She knows exactly what we have, and she's trying to get the as voice of the stubborn to drop his guard. Enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay focused and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. As you descend the final step, the form of the Hello. princess comes into view. A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. Is it just me? What does Monster she look? Monster fight. Strong Monster fight. She used to. Monster fight. Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without us. But this time, we're ready for her. Oh, it's you again. I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Good to see the death doesn't stick for either of us. And you brought your little knife too. Yes. I'm going to have fun breaking you into little pieces. I love you. Oh, that ruled. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, there's 10 routes and one ending to find in the demo and many more ways to die. All right. So we got... Uh, Let's continue. We found uh We're 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 getting all this shit. <laughs> all I like how they cat and just all the voices in your head. Hey, hey, there's uh, my favorite horror, horror boy right there. Trevor Henderson, never a bad recommendation. All right. Uh... Let's start this up again. Uh, this time let's completely, let's, let's go the opposite route. The let's uh, completely the the go full love in her. While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she is dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Causality doesn't matter here. 
because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the castle, Welcome back, Christy. the world will end. And there is no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. Are you serious? No, you have to do it. Let's let the world end. Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. I mean, maybe some people do. Nihilists, or very, very evil people. But surely you're not one of those, right? I don't know. What do you think 2023 has uh, done to everybody? Uh, yeah, the art in this game is phenomenal. The voice acting is great. Um... Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. I, I don't think I've ever seen... Uh... So I have never really followed any of Abby's um, stuff before this. This is kind of my first time really experiencing you any, make your any way of her properties. The path to the cabin. But I am You'll loving the, the horror parts of this. A warning. Before you go and she will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. I, You know, what? not the first time I've had someone recommend to me the Magnus Archive. Um, it is, it is on by a big list of things I am catching up on. Um, hey, Nicole, good night. How's it going? Uh, that, yeah, I believe you are the voice of the princess. Um, <laughs> excellent work. Um, yeah, it, that is, that is on my list of, um, you know, one of the nice things about hanging up the gym more often is that I'm actually burning through podcasts and stuff like that. So I have right now been kind of, um, jumping my time between, uh, night mind, um, and Chris Hansen's podcast, which is, um, certainly if you want to get angry at the gym, that will do it. <laughs> We're not going to go through with this, right? So we did, we did the princess. fight end. We're supposed um, to save princesses. So now I'm going to try and, I'm going to try and do a get the fuck out of here and ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Him. I think I might have missed the turn around and leave. Um, all right. In this case, let's go with the let's go with the be be buddies with the princess. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted. I also am a huge dust. fan of anything meta meta defined in horror. Is a um, plain wooden table. So I am table extremely is in <laughs> extremely in for this. Um, I actually heard about this because all of my friends who went to PAX um, and hit up like the indie booth, uh, the indie mega area were like, check this game out. This is up your alley. The blade is your implement. You'll need it. Ah, you're right. It. We're going to need that. Let's uh, leave the blade. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp. I like the little touches, like if you paid attention to the cursor hand. The princess really lives here. And the little uh, her is probably doing her a favor. markings on the arm. It's a nice touch. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Oh, I like that if you come without the knife. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Different, uh... You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Oh, I love that. Hello! <laughs> okay, uh, I like that. I like that these are two different options. I'm here to save you and lie. I'm here to save you. How many all right, times let's be legit. To tell you how dangerous letting her out of here would be before it finally sinks in listen i've seen cabin in the woods i know i know how this i know how this all ends to fuck the world we're Wait, doing really? this you're here to rescue me i i was starting to think i'd be stuck down here forever come downstairs i want to see the face of my rescuer 
Nightmare, nightmare, you nightmare. Walk down the stairs oh. and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. I hope you brought Night something mare. to do with these Night chains. Nightmare. Nightmare. Don't do it. If she gets out of those chains, we're all one step closer to the end. And I'm about to break. Only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. Monster. No. Monster. You're doing the right thing. Monster. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabinet. Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. I've seen Barbarian, I know what's up. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Never leave the house without a blade. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. <laughs> and just like that, we're in Saw 1 territory. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. You I like the way you think, Hero. If you do that say I, I don't like that it doesn't even go with the option we're too far into it everyone save the princess <sighs> fine yeah i love this against your better judgment you place the blade against the ragged self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm just above the unyielding all right no, we we we're we have blown past saw one territory we're in straight up berserk territory now you cut into her flesh the blade is sharp it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her heart. Uh, when we were trying to find images uh, for tonight to put on Twitter, I had to go through uh, a, a couple of ones because I'm like, well, this looks like a spoiler. Uh, this is way too graphic for Twitter. Um, yeah, this her rules. falls to the ground and the heavy chains follow suit. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No. She didn't. She guts. Full guts. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Yes, it is. Oh, that's such a neat little touch. Um, every time that we do interact with something, uh, our hand, it, it changes. So when you pick up the blade, it's... Uh, it's it's a clean blade, but after that, it's it's now bloody at the tip. That is a f it's the little touches that get them. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I 
can't just let her escape into the world. Monster, monster. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Oh, are you trying to take over the story now? Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Meta fight. What? Meta fight. What are you doing? Oh, shit. Uh... Okay, yeah, it's not being obstructed by anything. Oh, uh, I want you to take a look in the upper right corner right there. Uh, that's showing that there are more options. And if you scroll down... Okay, one. Stop warn her. It. Something's come over you, hasn't it? You, you know you don't have to do this, right? Your body lunges forward. The blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back. Our the warning blade. worked. The blade has a chance to connect. Stop it! Stop trying to resist me! I'm trying to get you out of here alive. All right, get us a chainsaw. I've seen Evil Dead too. Get us a chainsaw, and we can make this work. Yes, one resist. The blade. Move the blade. As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this isn't you. I mean, you barely know me, but... She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. I love how whenever he just gets fed up with whatever we're we're, we're doing, you can just clearly hear you could clearly clear the hear, clearly hear the narrator just being like. All right, she plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh. It hurts like a motherfucker, but you're not dead yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love I love when Jonathan Sims gets condescending. Damn. How how many uh episodes uh are out? Is it like a you have a year's worth of backlog to catch up on thing or is it like a fairly recent um endeavor? Oh no. Okay, I'm completed. So cool, cool, cool. All right, that's a lot more appealing um cuz at least there will be an ending. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. There was nothing worse than catching up in all of the Adventure Zone and being like two and a half months away before the finale that came out and just waiting that two and a half agonizing months for, for that story to end. For her sake. Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. Cabin in the Woods ending, Whatever. let's go. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. Okay, 40, 45 minute uh, episodes are like two, three hour long ones. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, that, that's, uh, yeah, that's reasonable. That's a nice two episodes per day at the gym. That's, that's, I can manage that. She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? Apparently not. Oh, this is gonna hurt. It doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. <laughs> I don't know, she seemed... I'm so sorry! She seemed to know what she was doing a bit, cutting off her own hand. Oh no, we cut it off. We cut it off, my bad. With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. By the way, I love, I adore the use of red in this. Um, there's another game that I really love uh, called Never Ending Nightmares that has a similar color palette and the use of red in that is... Mm. Magnifique. It can't just end like this, right? Oh, that's rich coming from you. 
As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Everything goes dark, and you die. And that's only the beginning. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I'm getting a sense of deja vu. Hasn't this happened already? Okay, no. But I died, what am I doing here? Oh, you bastard, you're in for it. I'm wise to your My tricks. Tricks? What on earth are you talking about? We just met for the first time. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did he? If oh. we're going to save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky about it. Okay, so last time we had the voice of the stubborn, now we have the voice of the smitten. Our beloved. Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. <laughs> ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love, and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. <laughs> okay, I love this voice, but there's a small, there's a small, small part of me that kind of wishes that the voice of the smitten was just like full Johnny Bravo. What's <laughs> up, baby kicks? Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Well, we got that one last time. <laughs> Voice of the simp. <laughs> what happens if you try and turn around and leave? Are we running away? What are you doing? We have to save her. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? A man that's been calling Leon as can the effective Johnny Bravo and I'm dying. The only thing that matters is where I'm not going. The cabin. I'm not going to the cabin. Oh, I just realized. Alright. Just try and continue. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. <laughs> Bingo has started to be That's beef. strange. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved on. <laughs> Turn around again and leave really again. Keen on wasting everyone's time. You don't know the it's half of it, buddy. Selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. We should just subtitle the New York Snark Exchange keen on wasting everyone's time. You're not emotionally. <laughs> Good, maybe everyone should die. It's what they get for dumping me in the woods and asking me to kill someone for them. Stakes and consequences aren't emotional blackmail. I, I Practice can tell exactly how much of everyone's time I fucking wasted tonight. Understand. Twitch rules. But fine, you turn around and trek back down the path you came. Oh, would you look at that? You're at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. He's right, you know. At least about the universe bringing us back here. 
It's our destiny to save her from this place. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. Oh, the music is like being twisted just enough. I... I have seen the first episode because someone definitely leaked it on Twitter. Um, I am excitable for the new Clone High season. Very, very excitable. But as you focus on your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Wait, what's going on? But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. You've doomed us all, you know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. It's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Um, so again, it doesn't capture the, uh, the achievements. It doesn't capture the hot chivos in the upper right corner. But, uh, this gave us the achievement, nope, which the, uh, animation for it or the 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 art for it is our gnarled um monster finger given a good old given a good old uh one up to to the cabin which is very funny we destroyed the world all right let us so we loaded. Now let's go get. Let's 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 uh. Let's go uh, um, feed the voice of the smitten. I guess we will. You're joking, right? If we're going to the cabin, there's no world where we do anything other than save her. God, I love the voice of the smitten. I wonder how many oh voices there are. She will lie. She will cheat. We already told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. Mood. I do. But I also <laughs> speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. Me whenever I'm making a video. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better. Yes, that's right. Tomorrow we are playing the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful April Fool's Day Sega Sega made the death of Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm hyper excited. We, I love that both me and Christy found that and immediately sent it to Ray on both Facebook and Discord to immediately go. You're playing. You're playing that this week, right? You're playing that this week, right? Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. I've seen a lot of people getting getting sweaty, sweaty, sweaty for uh. Its stone walls draped in waiter shadow. Tapestries, a also, a another slight change the of to this room. A wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The mirror is there, but this room had like a more futuristic the blade look. Blade is your implement. Uh, last time we looked at the mirror, we're just gonna go right into the basement. I, I, 
is one of the Gold first 10 out of 10 games on Steam Sega has ever had. Gold trimmed carpet glimmers Ooh. in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. Uh, I like that they had to specify Based that it wasn't Sega, it was the Sega Twitter team, which fire. let them do whatever they want from here on out. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Her voice. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I can hear wedding bells already. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. Yeah. I don't even know the princess. Creator clash. She'll do right uh, we're gonna watch Aaron Hansen either fucking floor. unleash the dragon or get the bejesus punched out of him. Yeah, Sega of America should be the ones in charge because everyone else keeps getting arrested for tax evasion. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. Just remember that her charm. Yeah, I heard about that. Uh, Babs is designing um, Aaron Aaron's gear. I'm actually really hyped to see that. Oh, they're gonna keep that a surprise the to the. With the princess. Is she low, lower quality? Binding her to the far wall. I'm I'm just hoping it has Bergy Bergy in it. Oh, that's also really cute. Uh, yeah, no, that's that is concept art princess. All right, where are you I going love. with this? We're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. You know she can't hear you, right? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. I was so worried about you. Y you remember me, right? How's the hand doing? <laughs> all right, so... We just have all the different, uh, so we got the damsel, we got the adversary. Let's see what happens if we go in Thank you, oh, and boy. betray. Let's get the knife and, and let, let's, let's do a betrayal. You take, I suppose, hopefully it doesn't put her on edge and. I also want to see what I missed. Voice of the Smitten. I suppose if we're to play the role of dashing knife, we need a dashing knight. We need an equally dashing sword. There's no use arguing over motivations right now. It's good that you took the blade. You'll need it to do your job. You walk up to the wall next to the basement. What are you talking about? This is not. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grass. You reach forward and Rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look. But there was a mirror a second ago, and now it's gone. Pity. We could have a feather out of place, and now we'll never know. We can't gallantly sweep her off her feet if we have a feather out of place. The door to the basement creaks open. I, I love the first creator smell. clash. Everyone slept Gold on fucking uh torches positioned along uh, the walls. The Nathan Bartham. Seems welcoming. And it's like pe Why? people realize really fast why some of the most dangerous people in boxing are people aren't the sluggers aren't the weightlifters the dancers the people who are fast on their feet are legitimately some of the scariest like uh the f the faster a person is the more scary I don't want the, the more scary they are in the ring uh because they one they have to be in good shape to begin with to do any kind of dancing and two you're not gonna hit them <laughs> you're not gonna land a single fucking blow and they're gonna dance around you but it's still a stone basement if the princess lives here slaying her is probably doing her a favor a soft voice carries up the stairs hello is someone there? I actually need to see that fight. I've, I've only seen a couple uh, of the fights oh, from the first Crater Clash. It's somehow even more beautiful than... I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. 
We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. Betrayal. A heavy chain Betrayal. Her My love, Betrayal. we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul. You know she can't hear. She may not be able. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. I was so worried. Oh, I don't get the chance to to do a to do a betrayal. Okay, so there are still more endings. All right, so we had the just try and kill her. We had the, and at the end ignore of the call is a and let the world loop and infinitely. In the of that cabin we have the sacrifice. damsel. You're here to slay her. Maybe we can get one that's a little more. Let, let's go full in. That's the spirit. Dive, dive bloodlust into it. You make your warning. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to... We're not going to go through with this, right? She's... Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's... I'm actually going to The interior of here. the cabin is all... The blade is your... Uh, let's go ahead and let's save. Because I want to see what happens if I go with this with the knife and without the knife. You take... Full bloodlust. Knife. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is as her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds mm, love, dangerous. Love the angry princess. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Love the angry Don't princess. Fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Hey, I think I'm uh, here to kill you. Good. You're still listening to reason. We are just going uncaring. Walk downstairs and lock eyes with the princess. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Do you hear the conviction in her voice? Do you see the razor sharpness? In She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be... You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh. This is it. Isn't it? I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder. Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? There it is again. That razor-sharp look in her eyes and the terrifying conviction in her words. Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. Listen, anything is going to be better than that one boxing thing that Ubol, um, set up. Um, though that one did have low tax just getting punched upside the head, which is just chef's kiss again. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over?
it's over. We should make sure. What's that? I really don't think you should do that. And why shouldn't we? Is there something you're not telling us? I've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy. The princess is dead. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming back from that. Yes, exactly. It's over. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only, a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of space. Great. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. What's done is done. And there's no going back now. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days, or months, or years, or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Psst. Hey. We're not just gonna stay here forever, right? Really? Well, if you ever change your mind, just let me know, I guess. More happy time passes though the word begins to lose its meaning. Time, that is. Not happy. Happy still has plenty of meaning. Please, shake yourself out of it. We have to get out of here. The little voices, please, fall on deaf ears. Eventually you pass into a blissful state of pure existence. Though words like eventually and pass ceased to have any meaning to you long before that shift, you simply exist. Happy. Forever. Are we even gonna go to a day two? <laughs> good, good ending. You did it. You saved everyone. Oh my god. Yeah, no day two. That I think that's the actual ending. Beautiful. All right, let's see if we can get more. Uh, so let's see if we can actually break out. This isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No. This is the beginning. This is what's best for everyone. Time passed. Are we really happy? Or is he? Maybe I'm not happy. <laughs> And I'm not just saying that because you're the last person I'm to I talk to. Because I have an idea to get us out of here. The blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on. He's right. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness or Do you not? There's more for us to do. And the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Don't you dare. How astute. You are absolutely correct. In a sense, we die. But looking at things from another angle, are we even really alive anymore? I know this is out there, but trust that little voice didn't want you to slay the princess. It didn't want you to be happy. Thank you. 
I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You... you... fine. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. The princess's body is dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. The end. Nice knowing you. All right, we found a day two. Spectre. You're on a path in your here to slay her. I can assure you that you're not dead. And to answer your second question, you're here to slay the princess. If he doesn't remember what happened, that's fine. It wasn't very hard to get. Here we go, voice time. of the cold. We'll just do it again. Well, if for whatever reason you're going to insist that this has happened before, at least. Those are two very different. You died. Oh, we listened to you plenty. We slew the princess just like you asked us to, and then you locked us away in an empty void for eternity. So we slew ourselves, too. Well, if you killed yourself, then you weren't listening to me. Because I would never want you to do that. Believe it or not, I care about you. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, what do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We slew the princess, the world outside the cabin disappeared, we died, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Had you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? It doesn't matter, because we didn't fail to slay her. And if she's really back, which I doubt, it'll be just as easy to do it again. But after that nasty trick you pulled on us, Maybe she's not the only one around here in need of slaying. Damn, voice of the cold getting Just savage. Stay focused, will you? All right. Just be quick. Came from the world and after I slayed her. That's a good point. How do we know we didn't have things backwards? Maybe slaying the princess was what ended the world, not the other way around. Yes. Maybe this whole thing was a trick to get us to end the world. And now we get to go through the whole charade again, wholly aware of what's waiting for us at the end. But that's assuming she's alive in that cabin. We did kill her, after all. You're going to find her in the cabin. If the princess had actually been slain, you wouldn't be here. And let me assure you, killing her will not end the world. I don't know what you think happened to you last time, it's a load of nonsense. You'll get your happy ending. I promise. And that's exactly what we're afraid of. Really? Living happily ever after sounds that bad to you. Oh well, there's no use arguing over your masochism. The cabin awaits. She just can. You'll have to trust that what I'm saying is true. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you... Right, let's see what world we get this time. Oh, what? She will lie. She won't be a pro. The interior of the cabin is cold, a soft odor of dirt permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The blade is your impl- It feels like no one's been here for a long, Time. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. You take no hesitation. The door to the basement groans open, revealing an oh, old. This is the full horror one. Wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust. And you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. The very building itself 
feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. The room below is silent. Nobody's here. Naturally. As much as I appreciate the optimism, I guess we'll just have to go down and see. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Okay. She's definitely dead. It's just like I told you. Before you have a chance to finish uh -oh. your thought, the top of a head appears from underneath the floor. Two deep-set eyes stare up at you, followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. Skeleton girlfriend, Finally, skeleton girlfriend. The, the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? A g -g -g ghost <laughs> Is the shackle still working? Oh. Wow. How absolutely terrifying. What's a ghost supposed to do to us? <laughs> oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. Sure you do. Like how you murdered me? I want to say that puts it something at like six of the endings. All right, let's try going down without the knife. Um, so far we have found the specter, the adversary, the damsel, um, I think one, one other one, um, that's one other one, I don't remember what it was though, uh, nothing, yeah, nothing this. Uh, yeah, we got the nothingness ending. We got the, um, uh, infinite cabin ending. Um, ten. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> that's a lot of, that's a lot of princess forms. Softly carries. Hello? This hypnotizing. Don't let it fool you. All right, I've, I've been really interested in this one right here. The difference between I'm here to save you normal and I'm here to save you lie. Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. Like, do, do, do we give ourselves see. away? You're trying to get her to lower her guard. It's a gamble, but it might work. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. You were lying when you said you were here to rescue her, but... Regardless of your intentions, breaking her out of those chains would be a big mistake. Don't even try it. Okay. Would everything feel right about you if you were locked away in a hole by yourself for as long as you can remember? Just how long has she been down here? So, did they tell you why I'm supposed to be so dangerous? The princess hesitates before responding. She doesn't know. 
She's been down here too long to have any idea of what she'd do in another life. She knows what she'd do. She's just searching for whatever answer she thinks you want to hear. What I do doesn't really matter, right? At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. I don't trust that, and I don't think you do either, or you wouldn't have come down here to talk. She has a point. We're talking like this for a reason. So this shouldn't be about what I'd do if I got out of here, or me saying the right thing to convince you to save me. This is about how messed up this whole situation is. This is my life we're talking about. Do you really think I can even end the world? Why would I even want to? We both know that if there's people we can't trust in this situation, it's whoever locked me down here, and it's whoever sent you here, and those two groups are probably one and the same. Don't let her turn the tables here. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch, no less. Listen, the Irish side of me is all about, all about that monarch slain, but... save here because I like I like the look of that last one but I want to know that I don't one. see what that has to do with anything how have you been alive this is the only time this is ever going to happen but I agree with the princess <laughs> that's hardly relevant okay but actually what has she been eating she has to eat right That seems like a pretty good compromise. I don't think I could bear being down here that much longer. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. So I'm the only one who liked that idea. <sighs> one way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. It would make it easier for both of us if you'd help. But if you don't... I can promise that you'll regret that decision. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes, it's the right one. All right, let's do the bastard ending. Some kind of fair compromise, but it isn't. Let's do the no everyone, everyone does like that idea ending. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work if we just stay here and keep watch. No one has to die. Where are you going? You can't just leave me here. You turn your back to the princess and make your way back to the stairs. Fine. Turn your back on me. But it won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. Do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Either way, she dropped the mask, didn't she? You can still grab the blade and get back down here. No, we're sticking to we're our plan. It's a us. bad plan and we're going to see it to fruition. We'll do it your Close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Okay, we can make this work. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off. Your eyelids I'll see the world fatigue. end. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. It's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. She sounds 
terrifying. Listen, like she's less of the princess you I, saw I, I if we're going to talk about Haruhi, uh, I am, I am a long standing fan of the, uh, headcanon theory that Haruhi is not God in, in Haruhi Suzumiya. Uh, Kion is the God. Haruhi is just a normal girl. Khan is, Khan is the one with Esper, with, with God powers and he doesn't know it. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. Monster lover, stay you winning. You know the kind of enemy he's made tonight. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. and harmless if I want to be. Teasing me with fresh air and a chance to finally live freely doesn't inspire me to play nice. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the Ooh. The ruckus has stopped and the door to the basement is ajar. It's lock broken and the tape shoved out. Uh oh. Thanks for helping uh oh. Me that awful uh oh. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First, your toes. We we goofed it. <laughs> we we goofed. And then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin. Unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. Mistakes is a questionable. Some people say mistakes, some people say improvements. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? She steps closer one silent footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. <laughs> Whoa, she's stopping her spleen. Oh, she's about to come through the computer and kill me in real life. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. Oh yeah, we are a, a fish monster, aren't we? What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck no. next time. Regrets. We both know this is the end, don't we? It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. I love the Mabam. I forgot about that, uh, the Mabam live. You're on a path in the woods. You're here. Oh, I stay. cannot wait to see what, what this one is. You... Again? If he doesn't. Shh. Here we go. Force what of the Paranoid. Us? New one. Oh, Welcome to Night Vale Live is great. That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear you? Shit. I think you'll find yourselves very hard pressed to keep any secrets from me. Not that it. Those are two. Let's say you died last time, which probably we couldn't trust either of you. As far as I'm concerned, we still can't. They they do a fantastic live show. All we did was lock her away. And how'd that work out for you? No comment. Well then, congratulations. You've been given another chance to act, and your solution is to send us back in there. I've you been really meaning at some point to catch up with the uh, other show that they had, um, the, the trucker uh, Night Fair up Night Vale serial, but I have fallen way behind in that. Obviously, I want you to slow. Anyways, I believe you. Are what do you mean? Of course, there weren't any consequences. We were killed by the princess, and now everyone speak for yourself. From my perspective, there were plenty of consequences. 
I'm never going to forget the way she just made us nice. stop working. And that's yeah, Alice isn't dead, surface. that's it. If what you said is true, it begs the question of how you got back here. Did time... Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? If she brought an end to everything and everyone, how are we supposed to stop her? What do you want from us? I want you to succeed. You'll find a way. You're the only one who can. All right, let's see what the oh, world warning. changed. She will. I don't think lying and cheating is a thing. She was very direct with us last time. It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. The interior of the cabin is plain. The smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table. The blade is your implement. Hold on. What happened to the door? There was a door here last time. I definitely have to check it out. It's just an empty frame. She's already gotten out, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not. So deep breath in, deep. Let's see if Walk anything has changed. Wall, reach forward and rub your hand. Did he make it go away? Clearly there was something in there worth investigating if he wants it hidden so bad. You reach down. Good. Is it gonna be enough though? Couldn't you have given us something else? <laughs> we have Some a bomb. blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. You're more than capable of pulling this off. Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. Very different. I'm not the only one who sees her in the window, right? Oh, shit. She knows that we're here. I didn't even notice Calm the people at the window. Down. Maybe the three of you just think everything is different because you haven't been here before. Enough of this past life. So focus up. All right. Uh. You cross over oh, the threshold. Fuck and onto me. a series of isolated steps suspended in darkness. More eyes, too. You never mentioned the eyes. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh... Oh, we're going into the static, back rooms. As if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would... Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. Yeah, we're about to get... Okay. <laughs> we're in trouble. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. How hard is it to throw a knife? It can't be that hard. But then we'd lose our weapon. We'd have to make it count. Otherwise she'd be furious and we'd be defenseless. It'll be enough. Finally, a voice of reason. You know why I'm being a pessimist. I'm just asking questions. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks, suspended in nothingness. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Please stop. Singing. Yeah, the music ha is phenomenal for this. Just pick a direction and start moving. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because oh, either way you go, there are eyes blinking in the background. If you do the parallel scrolling, the eyes move with it. All right. We are going to save. You turn to the left. A faintly outlined path lies before you. There you are. Whoa! I told you I was going to find you. As the princess approaches, your legs suddenly go numb. Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? And you brought a little knife with you. Cute. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think! What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. 
Oh, even the narrator is scared. <laughs> that nightmare. Oh, I love that she's clearly wearing a cracked mask. All right, so the last thing we do, I think, before we're going to call it for tonight. Um, like like they said in chat, there are we've we've gotten maybe um, half <laughs> of the things to find in this. So there are still more things to uncover in this. Uh, let's try doing nothing. You decide it's best to do nothing. There you are. As the princess approaches your arm. Okay, so basically, I, I'm just, I can't help but feel that it one, maybe one path. Go back the way you came. You turn back to the stuff faintly. There you are. As the prince, your arm. This is. I can brought a little knife with you. Cute. So yeah, uh, oh, whoops, clicked the wrong button there. Uh, so yeah, we, we've maybe covered a little over half uh, of this. Um, so if you are interested, this game is on Steam. Um, you turn to the right. You can pick it up, put more time into Thinking it. It is well worth it. Wish list. Every game that we played tonight. With your arms. Every game that we played tonight, throw on a wish list because all three of them are really fun in their own way. And man, what a, <laughs> what a gamut of games uh, we have played tonight. But I love, I love stuff like this. I love being able to take, cause literally, like I said, we, we, we did, we did tonight's stream is kind of a last minute, um, a last minute thing when Trevor was too beat from travel to, to do this. And I'm like, you know what? I had all three of these big boy boxing uh, not only nine and slay the princess. I had all three of those demos lined up to play on my own anyway. And I'm like, fuck it. Let's make a, make a stream out of them. Um, so yeah, uh, every, every game that we played tonight, wish list them all their, all their stuff are, are really fun. Um, this was an absolute blast. Uh, I want to say a, a big thanks to, uh, Larry Zor, who was in chat earlier, Nicole, good night, uh, in, in chat. Um, for everyone who's new, we are the New York Snark Exchange, a group of memers and dreamers trying to make it in the world who focus on charity streaming. Uh, good vibes, good times. Um, and, you know, I'm your, your buddy BPM. I'm happy, happy to be here uh, with everyone. Uh, so um, we will be back tomorrow when Ray is going to be fucking killing Sonic the Hedgehog in a stream in a game that I am extremely excited for um like i said when we found that game uh we literally um we literally like immediately were like ray this is you have you have to do this you have you have to stream this um nicole I I as our guest if you have anything you want to plug in chat feel free to um you know if uh, any anywhere that we can uh, anything besides um wish listing the game on steam if can find you anywhere, um, any projects you want to bring attention to, the floor is yours while I look for someone to raid. Uh, we, uh, if you go to our Discord, which by the way, Chef, you might want to throw the, uh, a link to the Discord up there. Uh, you are among DGen Company. Um, I think I made numerous references to Monster Fucking, Monster Girlfriend, uh, Monster Fight. Uh, so Degen is our middle name, which <laughs> has made it conflicting at times when we've ever done anything for um, charity events, because I believe we are one of the only groups who has raised a fair amount of money while also being degenerate as fuck. And basically we have prayed on numerous times that uh, Maria Ferry's Children's Hospital does not actually watch the events that we raise money for them for. Um, so by all means, we would, we would love to have you in there. We have, we have a, a, a great community in there. Um, and you know, we, we welcome it for everyone. Uh, throw, throw Nicole a follow on Twitch. Um, on, on the good old, uh, I, see, I'm learn I'm, I'm picking up more and more. I'm uh, the more I get into like, um, horror and podcast and whatnot 
I'm I'm I was in my own set of rabbit holes and now I'm finding a whole new set of rabbit holes and good ARG and good um just great great content. It's a great time to be on be on YouTube. That's a lie. It's a terrible time to be on YouTube. Everything on social media is terrible, but we're trying to make it our best in our own way. Thank you for that follow. Oh, hope to see you. Hope to see you around. Um uh see. Uh Chef, being that you did not have a stream this weekend, is there anyone that you would like to throw a, a raid to for tonight? Uh, I will I will put the floor up to you, my friend. Uh, see, a lot of my unfiction rabbit hole was uh, on account of um, Sagan Hawks, who I also extremely love. God, I think I've actually went this last uh, week for about three or four different videos on uh, go for a punch. Um, uh, uh, Psyche Sainobashi. Um, and the weirdest shit was some of those like lost media stuff. I actually read the case of someone who found a piece of lost media that ended up being an actual thing. And surprise, surprise, it was the Eastern European art. Um, the, the clock man. Uh, that was a lot of fun. All right. I'm going to go ahead and throw a raid to a friend of the show. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Thunderbird Prime is doing some just chatting. So let's go ahead and uh, throw a raid over to him. Um, but yeah, we will see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. for the death of Sonic the Hedgehog, which again, I am really looking forward to. I'll be taking a week off on Snark, but I will be putting out a video on Friday for Shadows of the Damned. It's going to be a special video on uh, what else was Grasshopper working on around the time Shadows of the Damned came out because Suda51 put out like six fucking games in a two year time span. And I always had it in mind to do a video on that when we were doing Shadows of the Damned LP. So please check it out. I'm putting a lot of time and effort into it and I'm excited as fuck. Um, I'll catch you all later. Be good to one another. Cops aren't your friends and trans rights are human rights. Peace.